What's up everybody? Welcome to KMJ Studios. It's your boy Jay. It's your girl Kaya. And today we have a DC update. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so what's up? Today we're, we're going into some news. CW has a new show. They've announced that they're starring a show called Naomi. All right, so Naomi was ba is based off of a, a comic book, a 2019 bestseller comic book called Naomi, and they're gonna be making a show on it on the CW. I personally have not seen a comic book. I do remember when they announced it, but I wasn't able. I think I had seen the announcement before they came up with the comp. They actually released the comic, so I just never. I guess I forgot about it. But now they've actually come out with you know the show. So I think it's pretty interesting. Um, I, I can go into a short little summary of what it's about because I personally didn't know. So if you guys don't know either, I'll just read off a little summary. The series will follow Naomi's journey after a massive supernatural event shakes her world and her hometown to the core. And once she starts investigating what happened, her world will experience some shakeups as well. In the comics, Naomi's world was ravaged after years of abuse to the Earth caused the planet's protective layer to completely collapse, subjecting it to massive radiation. Several individuals, 29 in fact, were given powerful abilities and most of them went to war. One of the new castings included Zimbardo, who in the books ends up con conquering a large portion of the world. This show is basically her trying to uncover what's going on. Da, da, da. I'm guessing she's probably one of the ones who gets one of the powers somehow or something like that. Maybe she just inherited it from somebody or something because we know, I know one thing about her is that she's adopted. So maybe her parents or something like that, one of her parents must have been one of those 29 people to get those powers. So maybe that's her journey trying to figure out and uncover exactly what is going on. So I think in that way it's gonna be kind of interesting. I'm, I'm kind of guessing it's probably gonna be one of those shows that's just kind of like, you know, like, I guess, I want to say like a mystery show. I believe we'll get like a lot of mystery and probably something like that. I don't know. So because the storyline isn't exactly extensive, that means that there's some things they're going to have to make up. So like not everything is going to be based <laughs> on the comics, but it means that they're going to have to add their own Basically, at we own. know what happens when Marvel start when DC starts making stuff up, right? Okay, so the writer and executive producer is Duvernay, Duvernay, Duvernay. and Blankenship. Okay, so apparently Duvernay is associated with Warner Brothers, which is like okay, cool, but like doesn't necessarily guarantee that the show's gonna be really good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like I said, you know what? Let me, as a matter of fact, continue. I'm going to look up this person's resume because this this tells me everything. Because you know DC and CW are cheap. Mm -hmm. They don't want to get anybody with an extensive resume who knows what they're doing when they're making shows like this. They want to go real cheap. Usually they're inexperienced, maybe having one hit show on their re on their resume, and they try to say, "Hey guys, we want to hype up DC fans mm -hmm. for this director who nobody knows about." The writer of the show actually wrote Arrow, so Arrow is actually a pretty good show. I actually followed it. I think we started watching it on Netflix and kind of like binged it years ago, and then when it went on TV with more seasons, we kind of like watched it from there. So like we we kept up with the show, which means that was pretty good personally for us. I think I, I enjoyed watching it. So as far as the um, Duvernay. I actually personally like her. I've seen a lot of, I mean, I'm happy that she's a black woman that's gonna be helping to write this this show. That gives me a little bit more confidence that it could be pretty good, like the writing and stuff like that. Cause she has done some great works in the past. <clears throat> so personally, I think that it, it could it could be really good. I mean, we, I guess we just have to see. I think it'll be a great story, <laughs> but one thing that I'm looking for here in, in her resume is DC. Yeah, anything action-based or climactic. I understand, uh, usually CW usually goes for the drama aspect to mix with, but that's the problem is that mm -hmm. her forte, her forte is, I can see here because I, I I know her resume, um, I'm looking at it now, She Queen Sugar, great storyline, Selma, great storyline, 13th, great storyline, everything like that, she has a very extensive resume and she knows how to make a story and she knows how to tell a story. The question is... Um, she doesn't have experience in this form of, this type of show writing at least. That's my only question, but I know for a fact that based off of what, she, based off of what she's done here, um, I'm sure that she's gonna do a great job with the show and developing the characters. I know she's gonna do that well, but the action scenes that are required from, uh, from really a comic book storyline. As you know, she did work with Warner Bros. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, what exactly on, 
but it says that she was she's been associated with them so i'm like in how and what way like what did she help them with i, I don't really know exactly what that is but i yeah, guess they're trying I, to be i don't see, see it but i guess that's the way of them saying that a hey, you may not have like her work that you've seen mm -hmm. may not be related to that like this type of like you know mm -hmm. this genre of tv but she has been associated so Absolutely. maybe she would know how to you know conduct mm -hmm. you know and like make a show like that so yeah. so my question would be you have we have an amazing executive producer here an amazing director and writer who obviously knows how to how to tell the story of a black american right uh not only in the present but also of the past we see her do but we've seen her do both right so the question is are you going to allow her to do that for this character right um and there's a lot of things in this in in this storyline where that comes in because the writers of this character were black people we're, mm -hmm. we're black americans so a big part of who this character is mm -hmm. it is that it was created by that right i'm okay with you going the drama route mm -hmm. for for a story because we don't get that from the movies i'm right. okay with you doing that in the show but the question is how much freedom is she going to get to really tell the story right. because they didn't do that in arrow 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 arrow's story was still pretty flat mm -hmm. it wasn't very round it wasn't deep mm -hmm. right and then with Batgirl we saw it was sort of forced to the mm -hmm. forefront where it was sort of like we're just pushing all of this stuff on right. everybody yeah and it was and then at that point it's just uncomfortable right. and it's cringy mm -hmm. and then now we're looking at a director who actually knows how to do this mm -hmm. and we've seen her do it well now are you going to relinquish the freedom to actually allow her to tell this story right the action scenes and everything like that, the action scenes can be trash, but if the storyline is good, if the story is good, the drama is good, I, I can enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm kind of confident because I feel like Arrow, you know, it was Arrow wasn't bad. And then mm -hmm. I have her working with the person who's been over um, mm -hmm. Arrow, Green Arrow. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would be kind of cool to see them collaborate on that because I feel like that, that's probably like a recipe mm -hmm. for a good, you know, good yeah, show. Yeah, um, I think so. concerning Naomi, uh, many would ask where her powers are because she's a new character, just came out in 2019. Um, her she has the power of transformation which means she can transform into her super power form by using her unique power while in this super form she wears a kind of golden armor and gains some superhuman abilities those superhuman abilities are superhuman strength and superhuman du durability she can also fly or levitate in the air um and she has energy projection which means that she can do like energy enhanced strikes or energy blast stuff like that mm -hmm. um and her power and her weakness is power instability. She doesn't really know the full extent of her power, and that the reason for that is because she is a teenager with Omega level powers, which means that she has powers that are just as powerful on the same level as Magneto, who's one of the most powerful mutants, and 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 who's one of the most powerful mutants, right? So when you let when you when you put that in a perspective we're seeing just how powerful this mm -hmm. this this character can actually be right. and that's what and, and because we know how powerful this character can actually be i also want to see that incorporated into the story as well yeah when they're going to release the show we have no idea mm -hmm. um they haven't really put out any dates at all or like the only thing that they put out was the one picture um of you know of the girl who's going to be playing naomi i think it looks it's basically the same look as the comic book cover so i think they did a really good job picking out the actress for the part i think that she you know she doesn't look too old you know she doesn't mm -hmm. look too young she's like right that perfect teenage age but like you know you know she's really mm -hmm. beautiful she's a very pretty actress mm -hmm. um as far as like if i ever seen her anything i don't think so i'm looking at her um, name casey walfall mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen her in anything. Mm -hmm. um, she might be a, she might be new. She might be fresh. I don't think she, I've really seen her in anything before. But I mean, this could be her big break. She you know she does a good job with the director and the writers. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't. She definitely won't be crippled by by the writing. Right. Uh, and that's my hope because yeah. a lot of a lot of these new characters that sort of debut their acting careers. They're, they're the way that they they're great actors, but they're crippled <laughs> by the by the bad writing. Right, uh, yeah. So I, what, what I'm hoping here is that they don't put her on a crutch by making her try to act with a bad script. Right, right, I, I, don't, I think that we're going to see at least three or four more issues before we so. actually see the show drop. Yeah. I think that this is more of a concept. You know how they right. put the billboard up right. before they actually start building the building? Yeah. Like I think it's more like that. I don't see it actually being something that's going to drop soon because there's just right. not enough yet. The character yeah. hasn't been developed. We don't know enough. Right. I think that's the best way to do it. If they don't do it that way and they're releasing comics 
while the show is going on and the comics are opposite of the show mm -hmm. then you have a cataclysmic event where people are like it doesn't match the comics yeah. we don't even know the character yet and they're already I think, messing up I think up. that's a good thing yeah. too because you know usually with DC it's always a struggle to find a the, I guess for them to find a good storyline mm -hmm. because there's so many different directions mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. going in because it, there's only like there's not like a lot on her it gets some more opportunity to really it's form a big her opportunity it's yeah. a it's a really big opportunity but like i said the last thing that they want to do is be developing a different character than what the writers than, than what the original comic book creators envision mm -hmm. so that way you can actually look at it and say okay so this is the character that they created right this is the blueprint we're going to use for the show all right guys so i think that's all the information we have so far on this topic make sure you stay tuned because we will when they drop more information we will go over that information with you guys let you guys know what's going on uh if they come out with trailers you know we'll do a reaction all that good stuff uh so yeah stay tuned if you're a new subscriber let us know down below so we can shut you on one of our future videos all that good stuff and welcome yeah. New yeah, welcome to subscribers. Friends. We're at 70 subscribers. We're going our way up to 100. Uh, We're almost it. there. Thir 30 more and we'll be good. All right. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll mm -hmm. see you guys in the next video. Post for the thumbnail.